It's very low, your boobs literally fall out. I did like two or three trips. It does give you liberty of movement. This is another check. Thing is a check skirt. How can you take on summer without a denim skirt? So please don't get mad at me. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then hi, my name is Alessia and I post videos about fashion, lifestyle and beauty every week, or at least I try. If you want to support me and my channel, click the subscribe button right now. Of course, like this video and any previous ones. As well, follow me on my social media. I only have an Instagram account, so yeah, just follow me on that and I will leave it in the description box down below and on the screen as well. I have for you a Primark haul. We all love those and I love them too. So yeah, I went to Primark yesterday and I bought some really, really cute and trendy things. Come on, Primark prize. <laughs> so good. I'm currently in my brother's room. So if you see anything like cars or I don't know, weird stuff stuck on the wall, please keep in mind this is not my room. So yeah, it is a Primark in Italy. Is that a lot of the items may have slight differences, but essentially is the same thing. But it's this tortoise shell um, hoop earrings, which are so cute. And we all know how tortoise shell is really, really on trend at the moment. So yeah, I got a pair of those and they were three euros. And yeah, I feel like you can incorporate these in so many outfits because brown is such a neutral color. So you could even wear check print, like a different color check print with like really bright colors and still manage to somehow incorporate these. But I was so happy when I found these. And yeah, I can't wait to wear them. They had this as well with like a green tortoise shell. But I feel like brown is something that's easier to work with. So yeah, I just went for the standard one. They were two euros. These were two euros. I don't know if you guys can see them well, but they were two euros and basically they have this kind of, it looks like it's sparkly, but it's not. It's like studded, um, gold plated, and it has these like fake coins on it. And it says something in French, I think. This with an all white outfit for the remnants of these summer days would look so, so cute. The first one is this this in what I what is supposed to be my size which is a size 12 um I'm happy with this skirt really really happy because it has this massive zip detail detail um which actually comes down is not just there um that's how you get into the skirt then once you get in and put up the zip you have the button just to uh buckle yourself in really there's no um there's no rings to put a belt in, but on me, on my body, it fits absolutely perfect how I would want it to fit. And yeah, it also does say that it's a high waist skirt, so I'm happy of that. It has some slits, some fraying. I love this skirt. I love the shape of it. I love the style of it. It would be the perfect traveling piece. Corduroy has been around for ages. Brown is more versatile, is a neutral, goes really well with blacks, goes really well with whites. I got myself a message. Um, but yeah, so this one I got in a size 10 actually. So the skirt before I got it in a size 12. And this one is in size 10. I feel like corduroy is slightly stretchy, a slightly stretchy material. But as well, because it's not just button details, they're actual buttons that help you into the skirt. The size 10 fits me absolutely fine. If you see skirts like this, size down, there is loops for you to put your belt in. But I do prefer these skirts without belts. I feel that they're so much cuter because they already have so much going on. And a belt would kind of distract from that. But yeah, I paid 13 euros for this. Skirts are great, great transitional pieces as you can see it kind of is still a little bit big i might end up still having to put a belt through but to be honest with you guys it is a pretty good fit oh my god when i saw this i didn't think twice now i have to say the quality of this isn't the best it is very flimsy um it's not one of those that i know there's some pinafore or a dungaree, I don't know how you call that. I think it's a pinnacle dress, this one. But I know there's some out there that you could wear even without a top and just, you know, be assured. But this is definitely not one that you can do that with. It's very low, your boob will literally fall out. Your boob will literally fall out. And obviously with the check trend coming, I made sure I bought into that too. I feel like definitely for trends, 
go to places like Primark. I have noticed from a lot of people's Primarks that when they get dresses like this, they say that even their size, I've noticed that their size looks a bit boxy. And because I'm so small up top and I have a bigger bottom half, um, I don't want something that makes me look like I'm literally straight like that, like a 12 year old child. So I did pick a size eight and it fits absolutely fine because under this, I would simply wear like a like a um, t-shirt or a uh, off the shoulder top. So yeah, something really thin. So no worries, I won't feel bulky or anything like that. And I love this. It reminded me of my school uniform back in the day. And also it gives is giving me like Gossip Girl vibes because I know that Gossip Girl had kind of these colors for their uniform. So yeah, I picked it up straight away, didn't think twice. And yeah, this was 14 euros and yeah, I got in a size eight. Definitely with stuff like this, go down a size if you can, if it's possible. Okay, this is the pinafore dress. I've got the same top on and yeah, it basically hits the same length as that other dress. This is another check thing, is a check skirt. Oh, I give up. This is a little bit thicker maybe for the summer. Like this is definitely an autumn piece because it's still quite hot to wear this but I don't care I'll probably still end up wearing this because it's so cute it still has the tortoise shell buttons it's not just simple check print it does have the hound's tooth as well to it it has a zip on the back and I got this in a size uh, 12 actually and it fits me absolutely fine this is the first time that I got myself a skirt that didn't have any stretching anything like that that literally once I put it on it stayed on my waist and I love the fact that it has the mustard in I really love how it fits it's very nice and snug very cute is the perfect length for me i can't wait to wear it this fall yes this is what they call a boyfriend tee and it was six euros so really really cheap now stick to your size with this because i feel like oversized is cute i love me some oversized like if something wasn't originally oversized i do go up one or two sizes but this is a boyfriend tee, is already oversized. And if you're like me and you don't have the biggest cleavage, um, going to oversized will make you look like a boy. This is very long, so I'm not really sure how I'll wear this. I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing a t-shirt dress. I think I could get away and kind of wear this as a t-shirt dress, but it has two minor slits at the, at the sides. So maybe this is something that I'll have to wear either with leggings or with some shorts or simply with a pair of jeans. But yeah, the, a black t-shirt is kind of needed in a wardrobe. You can do so much to them. You can tuck them in skirts, pair them with jeans, you know, sleep in them. And I love the message on this shirt. It says empower, empowered women. If I meet a boy and he makes sexist remarks, like he's off my DMs, like that's literally how I roll. So yeah, empowered women, and then at the back, I love this. I might actually wear this back to front sometimes. I don't know if that's going to be strange, but I might actually try this out because at the back and oh, at the back, I love this. Like this um, detail where it says woman, 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 empower women. It's just such a simple shirt, but it makes an impact. Like you could wear this in the most basic way and still make a really cute outfit. I will say that this um, t-shirt isn't the most great of qualities um, and when I was trying them on because I did try an S and an M I was sifting through the pile like because Primark the way they hang stuff is literally like a full rack so you have struggles sometimes taking stuff out and there were so many S's there and I was checking each one of them because this will fade if you wash this too much wear this too much this will actually fade so hopefully I'm not going to wear this as much as I would like to. However, um, yeah, it was already basically tearing off at the back. So I basically checked through each one. It was only six euros, so I'm not mad. I do wish that they, that this was an actual stamp, like this was printed on the shirt. I was actually thinking of wearing this um, underneath this because it's so long and i do not want my underwear to be on show maybe this and maybe like some vans something like that or some again some backless loafers very easy lol for the sake of youtube i'm wearing this massive t-shirt just to show you guys how it is oh and then last but not least i got myself a pair of shoes now to be honest with you i'm not sure if i'll keep them the Kardashian family you know all of that jazz sock boots 
our Instagram models, sock boots, public desire, sock boots, sock boots, sock boots, sock boots. So yeah, I got myself a pair of sock boots. It has a chunky heel, so definitely very, very comfortable. I could spend the whole day walking in these. I don't know how durable the stretch will be. I love the idea of a sock boot, and I did want a pair because when you wear really long black jeans, it looks like you've elongated your legs miles long. My feet look massive. <laughs> it's not the best of quality because you can't see the glue stick that Primark loves doing but from afar or just holding it up without scrutinizing it they do look like a pair of shoes that I paid quite a bit for. Now I finish my Primark haul I hope you guys enjoyed so again I repeat to you guys please follow me on my Instagram hope you guys enjoyed subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other for the next video bye mm -hmm.